What is up, Cryatics? Welcome back to the Tuners DLC update. In this video, we'll be customizing the fifth drip feed vehicle of this update. It officially released today, August 26, 2021, and it is the Karen Sultan RS Classic. So we only have two drip feed vehicles left after this, which pretty insane we're getting there. So this vehicle has a normal price of about 1.8 million, and the trade price, as you can see here, of about 1.3 million. Now, I still get the questions in the comments, even though I'm sure most people know already, but for those of you who don't, trade prices unlock randomly every five rep levels, so every five rep levels, you're going to get a random car unlocked, so that's how you get the trade prices for these cars. If you just want to grind it and get all the trade prices at once, just get up to rep level 75, and boom, you have all the trade prices unlocked, except for the Euros, which that one requires an auto shop purchase, but yeah. That's that one there. Uh, pretty expensive. If you guys remember, the regular Sultan Classic came out with the uh, Casino Heist update. That one was 1.288 million. So, I mean, pretty close. They're almost the same price. Uh, but, you know, this one obviously being the faster, quicker, wide body two door variant, which is just kind of crazy. Kind of similar to the Sultan RS from Benny's in that regard. Um, so, I already bought it. Here it is. I mean, it looks absolutely great. A lot better than the regular Sultan Classic, in my opinion. I mean, just really, really good looking. You can see the wide body there sticking out. Just looks really, really good. Just really nicely done. They're just great cars. They really are. Um, the interior, of course, copied over from <laughs> all the Sultans in the game, including the Sultan Classic, of course. But anyways, for those of you who don't know, even though it's quite obvious, this car is primarily based on the Subaru Impreza 22B STI. Absolutely legendary car. And we're going to be inspiring some of our customization mainly on that. So let's go ahead and get started. Really excited. I'm, I'm excited to drive this thing fully customized because I've heard this is the new king for tuner races, even faster than the Calico by far. So yes, yes. I definitely want to get outside and, custom and uh, drive this. Oh boy, alright, we got armor, brakes, bumpers, so you have touring bumper, you have street bumper, which I think this will probably be the closest of a 22B we can get, you have the GT, you have the Mark II bumper, looks really good, very aggressive, then you got the drift bumper, um, I think we're going to go with the, the street bumper, let's do that. Rear bumpers, and to mention here, a lot of these bumper upgrades, actually most of the upgrades on this car in general, um, they're all pretty much copied from the standard uh, Sultan Classic, so keep that in mind. There are some new ones, but most of them are uh, straight copied from that one. So you have extended lip, street bumper, GT, and drift. So the closest one to the 22B um, will actually be the stock, so that's pretty convenient. And you can actually see there's cutouts for like another exhaust on the other side um which the sultan classic had that but this one doesn't have uh the dual exhaust option so it looks kind of weird with that cutout there for something that you can't even get <laughs> so anyways moving along we have engine block we got secondary polished and carbon i think we'll go well stock is primary color which is what i want so we're gonna keep that Cam cover, you know what, we'll, we'll do the blue exposed pulleys, why not, let's do that, strep brace, I kind of want a titanium one, yeah, definitely titanium, this will do the titanium strep brace, engine, exhaust, so you have chrome tuner, let me zoom in here a little bit, chrome track, performance I mean they just it just gets bigger and bigger big bore and then chrome yeah that's all the options there so you can see again no dual exhaust kind of unfortunate um, but I mean this car I was gonna put the single exhaust anyways but again for those bumper options it is kind of weird um, so I think I'm gonna do the I mean I kind of like the big bore I'm kind of digging that it just <laughs> it looks really good it's a bit oversized but yeah I guess I'll go with a performance exhaust kind of right in between so we'll do that I definitely want the titanium tip Headlight covers, well you got all the new headlight covers for those of you who like that. You have headlight uh, housings, so this is again copied over from the normal Sultan Classic as well. 
So you can do carbon, secondary, primary, all that good stuff. Uh, hood catches. Okay. Hood. So you got the secondary, a carbon, vented. Performance. You got GT hood, almost identical <laughs> to the real car. I mean, very similar. Not exactly, but this is the closest you can get, definitely. All the different variants there. All right, so definitely GT hood. Horn, let's keep going. Interior, so you got dash. So you have all the different options here. You get the streets, which gives you a nitrous bottle with the handbrake for drifting. And, and then this one gives you the start button. And you know you have more and more <laughs> crazy options there if you wanna go you know, full rally car, full race car, whatever build you're trying to do. And, you know, as you go here, it just gets crazy. It strips more and more stuff. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to leave it stock, honestly. I feel like a nitrous bottle in a rally car <laughs> looks a little weird. <laughs> We're not really doing a street build. We're doing more like a rally build. Uh, continuing, we got dials. Oh, yeah, you have all these different, as usual, these options here. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna be doing that either. Doors. Ooh, the carbon. Okay, if you wanna match that carbon dash, you can do that. Okay, continuing. Roll cage. Oh, roll cage. Interesting. Okay, padded cage. Not bad. If you wanna do like a roll cage that goes right through your seats, you can do that. <laughs> Obviously, these options, I guess, are more for the uh, stripped interiors, but. That's kind of funny. <laughs> um, and surprisingly, there's no seat options here, as you can see. That's that's quite annoying. I kind of I would have wanted the sports seats for this because these regular plane seats are kind of you know not really all that good looking. Some sports seats would have been great, but um, is what it is, I guess. I guess Rockstar forgot. I don't know. <laughs> Headlights. We're definitely gonna leave the yellow uh, whitish lights there. Uh, part of the era of this car. Uh, liveries, you got the classic stripes. Nice. Karen stripe. Okay. Shopping list. Again, most of these are copied from the, uh, <laughs> the standard Sultan uh, classic. Nice. The tribal throwback, and then the Karen performance. Okay. Um, and I want to stick to that build I showed, so we're going to be skipping that. License plate, I got my rally plate for this. And we'll do the black background, might as well. All right, respray. So we're gonna do a metallic, I think the closest we can get using GTA <laughs> colors here. And we're gonna do a metallic blue with an ultra blue pearl. Boom. Not bad, not bad. Secondary would be your mirrors, and I think, yeah, the interior stitching. Okay, I guess we'll just make that match. Blue, did we, did, we did do blue, right? Yeah. Oh, I did Saxon blue by accident, look at that. <laughs> Glad I double checked. I knew it looked a little off. Trim color, so you have, okay, so it's the interior door panels, the seat inserts, and looks like that's it. Okay, so I guess we'll do the blue to match. Do the racing blue, I guess. See here. Uh, yeah, we'll do the racing blue. Okay. Accent color is the gauges, and that's it. Okay. It's gonna leave that the way it is. Kreblum goes on the side of the door, not centered. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of off-centered. All right. Um, and this car, you cannot change the brake caliper colors, so keep that in mind. On the Sultan RS, the Benny's one, you can change the brake caliper color, um, but this one you cannot, so keep that in mind. Uh, roof, you have secondary, carbon, and then sticker bomb. And, oh boy, this is one of those cars with a pearlescent transfer to the carbon, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> Wasn't going to put a carbon roof anyways, but yeah, okay. Roof accessories, roof spoiler. I don't really like roof spoilers that much. Roof scoop, I guess if you're going for like a full-on rally build, you can do that. And then the, <laughs> of course, the roof box. And carbon, too. Why? 
<laughs> okay. Side skirts, you have rubber extensions. Okay. Street skirts, GT skirts, and... I, mean, I guess we'll do the GT skirts. I think the stocks are more accurate, but I want a little bit of an extension there. Um, so I guess we'll do the uh, GT skirts. Sun strips, primary and secondary. Spoiler, so you have low level wing, nice little ducktail there. From variants of that. A large ducktail. The street wing, secondary, GT performance. Karen Extreme Wing, probably the closest you can get. And then other options there. Okay. Karen Extreme, definitely. What is it? What is the Mark II? Oh, it's the secondary paint. Okay. Mark III is the carbon. <laughs> okay. The regular one there. Suspension. So, um, yeah. So you got low, low, low. And the Sultan Classic, this is pretty much as far as it goes. Now the RS Classic, boom. You have the Camber 9000. You <laughs> oh man, that's a uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Um, even though in Bruffy's test, he shows that the camera options do make you go faster on a track because Rockstar's coding sucks. But uh, <laughs> if you want to do that, you might get a performance benefit. Um, actually, you probably will. Um, but I'm gonna keep it. You know, I I think I'll probably def stock right height definitely too high for me. Um, I think I'll bring it to, I think, a lower suspension, because I still want it to be sort of a rally build, so do a lowered suspension, transmission, trunk, also copied over from the Sultan Classic, okay. Now, the traction benefit was the spoiler, right? I wasn't really paying it to, okay, good. <laughs> Just in case. Sometimes Rockstar will make a trunk option, the traction benefit, instead of a spoiler, but on this one they actually did it right, so we're good there. Uh, turbo, definitely. Wheels. Okay, so the closest wheels you can probably get to the 22B would be the Cosmos right here. Um, but I want something a little bit bigger. Um, so I'm going to go to the sport category. And we're going to go here to the Cosmos right here. Boom, a little bit bigger. I think it looks a lot better. So we'll do that. Uh, wheel color, we shall do the gold. I mean, you can't have a Subaru without having a blue and gold, right? <laughs> Bronze? Should we do the... Yeah, definitely the gold. Yeah, the gold. Nice, nice. Uh, windows, if you want to do some tints. I guess I'll do some light smoke. I don't want it to be too dark. Uh, window spoilers, for those of you who like these. All different options there. Yikes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all the options there. All right, all right. Let's take it for a drive. I am dying to see this. I have not driven this thing maxed out yet. This is gonna be exciting. Oh, this is gonna be great. Come on, spawn, spawn. Let's rev it up first. Sounds great. First person. All right, floor it. Oh yeah. Phenomenal acceleration. A sign. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, this thing's a handful. Definitely doesn't understeer as much as the Calico, but I feel like the Calico accelerates a little stronger out of the corners. Maybe it's just me. This one definitely handles better, though. Definitely a lot easier to drive, as I, my back end side, side swipes the SUV. Um, but if you've been having an issue driving the, uh, the Calico, I think this will definitely be a good alternative. Man, it's probably going to be the best anyways, but very nice. It kind of drives like the Sultan Classic, the regular one, but obviously with a shorter wheelbase. Definitely has, see, let me force it a little bit harder into this corner here. Oh, there's some traffic. Let me just go through here. You know what? Let's go through some of these jumps. Wow. That thing is quick. Holy crap. 
Put off the throttle there. Uphill. Then a turn. Sticks pretty good. Another SUV. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. It's quick. It's 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 properly fast. Um, in the sports category, obviously, tuner races definitely gonna be um, very very good choice. I think it came out great. Uh, let me go ahead and pull into this gas station here, and we'll open all the doors and stuff. I never even been. I never even pulled a car into this gas station before. I always drive by it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, vehicle doors. Let's do all. Oh, yes. First person. Look at that. The primary valve covers with the blue pulleys. Twin turbos. That looks so, so good. Interior. Bl blue interior looks great. Got the blood spl splatter option. <laughs> the trunk. Not bad not bad at all and let's uh let's close everything here and try the camber option so camber stance well stance not camber camber would be the low suspension but let's see boom yeah it goes low it looks good so if you want to go low without the crazy camber you can put one of the normal suspension options and then do the lowering manually in the interaction menu looks great very very nice well guys, I hope you enjoyed the customization and review of the Sultan RS Classic. I think it's a phenomenal car. Honestly, I think if you get the trade price, 1.3 million, it's not terrible. I think it's a decent buy, especially considering how expensive everything is these days in this game. Um, and the standard Sultan Classic, which is almost the same price, you might as well get this one. <laughs> well, anyways guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.